Okay. Um, <clears throat> after five days of confinement, uh, I had COVID last week. So I was, I remained in my room for five days. <laughs> uh, my wife was kind enough to uh, prepare the food for me. So anyway, uh, after five days, uh, I woke up on Monday morning uh, and two things were revealed to me. Uh, number one, Jacob's ladder. Some of you may know Jacob's ladder mentioned in the Bible. The other one is a cloud of witnesses, uh, which is mentioned in the book of Hebrew. So I have been wondering uh, what this all means, okay? Now, I would like to uh, put into context, basically, for us, we have gone through sessions now for weeks and months now. Uh, this is very much connected and very, very important to many of the things that we have been talking about. Uh, so change of blood lineage basically is, uh, we've been focusing on for the last couple of weeks. Uh, so change of lineage is a very important step in uh, inheriting the realm of heart of God. Okay, so uh, marriage blessing is that process. So we studied about the five women and how God had to use the principle of reversal so that uh, a second Adam in Jesus could be born just like Adam without sin. Okay, now equally important is the second uh process, which is basically the change of ownership by changing the act of love, yeah, uh, through absolute sex. And this is something that uh, I'm still wondering whether I should completely share with you uh, for, for next session. Um, so where does Chung Shim Wan fits into all this? And then the third uh, process is heart, you know, inheriting this realm of heart of God. Uh, first, you have to uh, subjugate Satan so that we can get rid of our realm of heart of uh, Satan or self-centered heart so that we can inherit this uh, uh, realm of heart of God. So, Chong Shim Wan uh, Basically, we have to understand is the most internal understanding is that we are actually true mother based on her victorious foundation is providing us a way so that we can inherit this realm of heart of God. Okay. Uh, through Chong Shim Wan. So I'm going to uh, make you understand uh, from a physical perspective, how this inheriting the realm of God's heart uh, is, is, is happening at present moment. So I'm going to go to a message that True Mother gave in Las Vegas, you know, June the 6th when uh, True Mother visited us here. So this is an article that uh, uh, provide us an understanding of what Father and True Mother spoke of. So I'll just say that uh, we are working to save America. I've taken extract of it. If you want the full speech of True Mother, I can send that to you. I can send the link. We are working to save America. We need to establish the second and third generations. To do that requires education and heavenly spiritual works. 
to true mother emphasize not only education but also heavenly spiritual works many pro proclamations have been made but now we need to reap actual fruit in the era of completion and we must make this into a place where that fruit is harvested the family federation and youth federation should unite centering on Chongqing one internal training and move forward together therefore spiritual phenomena will take place and we will resurrect and rebuild america so my wife has been attending Chongqing one and uh, regularly in the morning uh, and true mother is basically inviting many second generation and third generation especially those that have some kind of spiritual gift so-called that they are spiritually open okay and somehow uh they uh amazing responses uh to this uh Chongqing One Providence, okay? So, second generation uh, coming forward uh, and those that have this spiritual uh, gift, uh, they are coming to testify basically of the reality of the spirit world and also manifesting God in so many ways uh, in their lives and in the lives of others, okay? I'll continue um now this is a short talk that was in a video that was uploaded by reverend do and the first part of the video uh, actually is a speech that president gi Xiong li president lee gave okay so according to president lee chongqing one was actually established on october 11 2020 after more than seven years of two mothers, Chong Sang. Okay. So Chong Shim Wan, sorry, no G, sorry. Chong Shim Wan is the main sanctuary where we can directly attend Heavenly Parent and True Father. And so President Lee is actually overseeing the Chong Shim Wan in Korea. Okay. So Chong Gi bless families should inherit the tradition of Chongsang and invest themselves to make a tower of Chongsang that reaches all the way to heaven. So we don't realize that actually when True Mother established Chong, Chong Shim Wan physically here at Chongpyeong and then now in Las Vegas centering on True Parents' room in uh, in True Parents' house, now there is a connection between the physical earth all the way up to heaven. Okay? If you have uh, eyes to see, you'll be able to see. If you have faith, obviously, then you will be able to see this, this so-called tower, this so-called ladder that connects the physical earth that connects us to the deepest realm of God's heart. Okay? So this is basically uh, Chong Shim Wan. Uh, and America is blessed. Uh, Vegas is so blessed that the first place that was established is actually here in Las Vegas. So we don't realize that this is a, an amazing blessing. Okay? Now, I'm going to now talk about Jacob's ladder. What has Jacob's ladder got to do with Chongqin One? <clears throat> now, remember when uh, we studied about the five women and we studied about uh, Rebecca? We talk about uh, Rebecca Mother and Son Corporation. Okay? And after this corporation, what happens? Jacob stole the birthright and blessing from his elder brother Esau and from his father, arranged by his mother Rebecca. So obviously, 
Esau is very angry, he wanted to kill his brother Jacob. So um, Rebecca arranged, the mother arranged for Jacob to go to his uncle Laban in Haran. So while he was on the run to, uh, to Haran, uh, Jacob was very tired, okay? So he just slept in the open and he took a small stone or rock, you know, and slept on this stone. I think this stone must be smooth enough to lay down your head. And so he, he slept on this. And this place is called Battle, okay? Alone and on the run, Jacob decided to camp out under the stars with nothing but a rock for a pillow. So Christians can never, or even Jews cannot understand why is it that this dream, Jacob had this dream then? What, and then what's the significance of this dream? Now, if you read the account, Jacob just deceived his father and stole the birthright and blessing from his elder brother Esau. And Rebecca helped him to do that. You know? So how can uh, 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 an evil action, you know, how is it related to Jacob's letter? From the principal perspective, we understand that this mother and son cooperation is so important, you know, that because this blessing was received by Jacob, you know, even though through some kind of trickery, but it was a very, very important event from the principal perspective and also from God's perspective. And based on this, God actually so-called gave this dream to Jacob. And so what is his dream then? Scripture says that Jacob had a dream and behold, a ladder was set on the earth with his top reaching all the way up to heaven. And behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. This is the Jacob's uh, ladder. And right at the top of the ladder is God, you know, in heaven. So this dream basically shows that because of certain victory, there is this ladder that somehow is, is built by God. Okay? It's not built by man. It's built by God. So that God ladder all the way down to earth, the angels are going up and down this ladder. So there's communication between the spirit world, the heavenly world, and the physical world based on the victorious foundation of the mother and son cooperation of uh, Rebecca and Jacob. Okay, now let's move on. And this is the very famous, uh, most important promise that God made okay to to Jacob and the descendants of Jacob okay so the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob this is God's promise I am the Lord the God of your father Abraham and the God of Isaac the land on which you lie I will give it to you and to your descendants your descendants will also be like the dust of the earth and you were spread out to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south and in you and in your descendants shall all the families of the earth be blessed so this is first time some kind of connection between heaven and earth and in terms of the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. So from the descendants of Abraham, as is prophesied, 
The descendants of Abraham were like the number like the stars in the sky, like the dust in on the earth. Yeah, that's how plentiful, how amazing uh, uh, descendants uh, God gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is basically after the dream. And continuing in Genesis 28, 13 to 15, this is God's promise, you know, after giving this dream to uh, Jacob of this Jacob's letter. Okay. So, Chong Shim Wan is none other than the reestablishment substantially of this connection between heaven and earth. It is the very, how to say, the very uh, connection that allow God to come down into the lives of blessed members, Chongbu couples, and those that connect, okay, to the Chong Shim Wan. Okay. I've been to the Chong Shim Wan to pray only one time. Okay. But I don't know whether you attend Holy Ground in the past. I noticed that in uh, Las Vegas, there's no Holy Ground. So back in Connecticut and back in Singapore and Malaysia, I always visit the Holy Ground. Can you hear me? Yeah, I was just going to say, I think there is one holy ground in Las Vegas, but I'll maybe mention it later. Maybe, I don't know. I asked uh, Kaylee, and Kaylee always say there's no holy ground uh, in Las Vegas. I but... was told that there's one park. Okay. There's one park, but I'll, anyway, I'll find it out and tell you later. Please check. But yeah. now, uh, the holy ground is now superseded now by Chong Shim Wan, because Chong Shim Wan is directly connected to Korea now, uh, and now it's been expanded to United States and other continents as well. And this is not just a place, uh, but it is a century that basically, once we connect physically, uh, and also through even through Zoom, we can connect to God directly. God, rather, God can come down based on certain condition that we make. Okay, this is the this is the understanding that I want you to uh, have. Uh, okay. Now. Now I'm going to go to uh, jump to the cloud of witnesses that I talked about earlier. Okay, so the first one I dealt with is Jacob's ladder. Okay, and then how that's related to Chongshim One. If you have questions, we can deal with it later. Now I'm going to move on to uh, to uh, Cloud of Witnesses. Now, many of you probably don't know about the Cloud of Witnesses, okay? But in the book of Hebrew, chapter 11, and then particularly chapter 12, chapter 12 talks about the Cloud of Witnesses. Chapter 11 talks about all the men of faith in the past, including Sarah, all the amazing faith it describes about how they kept faith in God. Okay? And then also it mentioned in Hebrew 11, 13 to 16, something that is, if you read, we can relate with because it talks about this heavenly country that was supposed to be established. Okay? Now, all this was uh, basically based on Jesus' victorious foundation. Certain 
uh, victories was established, but the prophecies were not fulfilled entirely. Okay? It is, part of it is fulfilled spiritually, uh, but the substantial heavenly country has not been established. So I'll read this, Hebrew chapter 11. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, were assured of them, embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland. And truly, if they had called to mind that country from which they had come out, they would have opportunity, had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better, that is a heavenly country. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. Now, as you're reading this, God wanted to establish a nation, a heavenly nation in Israel, right? But then the chosen people, you know, chosen people frustrated completely God's uh, plan. Okay? Now, if you recall, there's one verse, uh, uh, angel prophecy given to to Mother Mary, which I read before, uh, of his kingdom, there is no end. So this is the prophecy given by the angel Gabriel, I believe, to Mother Mary, that this kingdom that Jesus will establish, okay, this kingdom will be no end, okay? And establishing this heavenly country that is supposed to be the hope, okay? This is after Jesus' uh, uh, resurrection. Let's move on. Now, what has this um, cloud of witnesses got to do with what happened in Las Vegas over the weekend of July 16, 17 now? And what, 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 what is going on here in terms of uh, Hyojong Chongbo great works in uh, Las Vegas, as well as in Belvedere on the 23rd, 24th of July. Okay. Now, if you uh, listen to a presentation by Reverend Jackson to Christian ministers, he quoted Hebrew 11 extensively to explain that actually this is from the divine principle, the verse in the Bible that is used in divine principle to illustrate that all these great men of faith in the past, okay, you're talking about resurrection, and all these having obtained a good testimony to faith, you're talking about people like Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, Sarah, Moses, okay, did not receive the promise. God having provided something better for us, that they should not be made perfect apart from us. So if you recall, you know, this is the pr principal explanation about resurrection. Resurrection, not in terms of physical death to physical life, but resurrection from spiritual death to spiritual life. Okay, so uh, if you understand resurrection in a bigger sense of the word, you can see that this, you're talking about all the liberation and the blessing that our ancestors will receive on our behalf, they will receive amazing resurrection through us. Okay, just as all the great saints and sages of the past Tested by their faith, but they cannot be perfected apart from us. This is the what's going on in the uh, ancestral liberation and the blessing of our ancestors. Okay, so that vertical, uh, uh, 
you know, liberation and the horizontal, which is the, the couples that we bring in as tribal messiah. So this is the Hyojang Chongbo great works that is taking place right at this time as well. But the two one major events in Vegas and Belvedere has already taken place. So amazing. Uh, what is happening is that you have, once these, our ancestors are liberated and receive blessing, what happens is that they will be the one that will be descending on this ladder. Okay. This ladder that we talk about in Jacob's time, that God can allow the angels, okay, and our good ancestors to come down directly, including God coming down directly, working with us, bringing amazing spiritual works that you yourself will be amazed, okay? This will be the last slide. In Hebrew 12, verses 1 to 20, or 1 to 2, sorry. Okay? So, fortunately or unfortunately, we don't see all these heavenly hosts. Okay? We don't see this cloud of witnesses. But those who are spiritually open, they, when they actually receive the uh, liberation of their ancestors and blessing of their ancestors. Now, when Reverend Jackson attended that first session for the liberation and blessing of his seven ancestors, he said that he, he had a spiritual experience where his great, his, his grandfather, okay, appeared on his side and expressed so much gratitude to him for liberating him, number one, and for receiving the blessing, okay? So he has a, a spiritual experience where his grandfather, you know, Express so much gratitude to him after he they were liberated and after they received this blessing. So, you know, this is the amazing great clouds of witnesses, okay, that he testified. That we are now trying to get Christian ministers to come. And there were Christian ministers that attended both the one in Las Vegas as well as in Belvedere, about four or five, okay. Now we have, uh, in Vegas, we have uh, Abernathy, Reverend Abernathy. He has about 77 couples already that have gone through 43 days, okay? So he became a Chongbo couple, okay? Including pa Pastor Barrett, and then Dr. Rouse, and then Dr. Tanya, you know? And even Pastor Barrett went to Chong Shim Wan uh, and felt and prayed in the room, and then they they showed this uh, uh, video, I mean, the phone to True Mother, and True Mother was so happy. And also Dr. Tanya testified about the uh, great works in Belvedere, and also True Mother is very happy. Christian ministers, there are five or six that received the Chongbo uh, 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 blessing, so let's read Hebrew 12, verse 1 to 2. The Bible encourages us. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, first, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. Now you read, Continue to read uh, Hebrews chapter 12. You talk about this great clouds of witnesses. Okay. This is after Jesus' resurrection. Okay. But we know very well that uh, 
the return of Jesus is an ongoing process. Okay? In anointing of our true parents by Jesus, and then receiving the blessing, and then the unfolding of God's providence centering on true parents. Okay? So, we have to understand that the Chongbo Great Works, you know, Jong Chongbo Great Works, is the process where we are bringing down, we are bringing down, uh, you know, our good ancestors. Oh, Herbert, you join at the right time, even though I'm at the very end. <laughs> at the very end, and I, I want you to provide some living testimony. So the reason why I'm sharing all this is because on Saturday, last Saturday, when we had our ACLC, uh, I testified. I testified about what's going on with our lectures uh, in terms of the change of blood lineage, you know, and also I received inspiration that I have not shared about this amazing, uh, you know, um, uh, union, you know, not mystical union anymore. Uh, Jesus talked about mystical union between uh, Jesus and God, and then uh, uh, us and Jesus and Jesus and us. But the original union, I haven't even shared that. You know, that, that is supposed to be shared uh, sometime, maybe in the next uh, session. Uh, but very important understanding, which is part of the unfolding of the uh, Chongbo, okay? Uh, uh, Chongshim Wan. Uh, but I'm explaining about Chongshim Wan and the great cloud of witnesses and how basically uh, because of the unity. Here again, the emphasis here, we need to throw off everything that hinders and sin that easily entangles. So once we can throw out our uh, fallen nature, once we can unite, centering on Chongqing Wan, okay, we have direct access for God to come down and also for our good ancestors to work through us. And amazing miracles can take place before our very eyes, okay? So uh, this is what happened with Herbert. Uh, I am so amazed that uh, Herbert's couple with Takako. Uh, so it's timely that uh, uh, I asked uh, our brother uh, Herbert Brown to share this experience that he had without giving all the details. <laughs> I won't get out any details. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, it's, it's been, I'm sorry for being late. I, I've just been, it's been cloud of witnesses, yeah. <laughs> been taken up in the clouds, whatever you want to call it. Um, I went to uh, Chubert's Tr house. We had uh, prayer meeting at 6 a.m. Uh, this is the first time I joined it, you know, at the special room and uh, for three hours. And, and then um, all I can say is if, if you have an opportunity to go at 6 a.m. to your father's house, do it. I mean, I was sort of like up in the air, but I got there and those three hours went by so quickly. It was like a Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, actually, it, the thing that led up to that is the uh, talking with uh, Reverend Teal. Uh, it has been my good fortune to have him as our leader, ACLC here, and uh, he inspired uh testimony, his inspired testimony really moved me uh, with the uh, Jacob's Ladder. I don't know, yeah, uh, without going in, into any, any details, get him to tell you about Jacob's Ladder. 
I've been talking about Jacob's Ladder ever since he talked about it. Uh, and this uh, coming down of ancestors and angels with these gifts and, and, and uh, the special wish papers and all these things that we, we don't know what we're doing, but God knows what we're doing. <laughs> so hey, the spirit world moves you to through the cloud of witnesses and, and, and ministers and uh, undake or whatever to do what our ancestors have asked us to do. They are depending on us to do something because they can. We, we're here on this earth for a reason. You know, not because we're so smart and we're so holy or so whatever, but we just have to be born at this time with the right time with uh, two parents walk and talk and share their ministry with us. That we represent our ancestors, we join, and we have to take that to the next level. Thank you. That's all I got. Yeah. <laughs> Well, actually, uh, I, I just have to say that, you know, uh, I advise uh, Mr. Brown and Takako, his wife, to work together in terms of to reach out to uh, Christian ministers, which is uh, very challenging, as you know. Uh, husband and wife usually very difficult to unite, but if they can unite, amazing things can happen. But anyway, uh, they, took, they took my advice literally and... Uh, and basically, they they really united with me, even though I, I have not so much experience in terms of ACLC. They went out and they met someone that was someone they know. Uh, they have, uh, what, stayed together close by their neighbor, the first lady, the pastor's wife, you know. And then this couple also is a very important uh, Christian couple overseeing a very important, uh, 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 you know, team that I cannot uh, reveal. Uh, but I can say that, my goodness, they, because we absolutely united, you know, I really feel that amazingly. Uh, Chung Shim Wan, because I've only visited it one time, you know, I prayed there one time, and yet uh, because of unity created, you know, a couple and with me, uh, God can work in such amazing ways. So all the years of work that they have put in, they can actually see what a miraculous uh, uh, encounter they had. You know, uh, it, it's not something that happens uh, through your human effort alone. You know, uh, God's intervention. Otherwise, you would say that you know it's very unlikely. It's it, it, it happened. I cannot give more details than that, uh, but I can say that an amazing uh, Mr. Brown is uh, it's a total inspiration for me because of his uh, efforts in creating unity as a couple and with me. Uh, so I can just testify. And then uh, on Monday morning, I woke up, uh, okay, look into uh, Jacob's ladder and uh, cloud of weaknesses. So I say, oh my goodness, uh, this is an explanation. Uh, so I just want to close by saying that uh, really, literally, True Mother is actually has opened up an amazing realm. You know, amazing realm. It's just like Jacob's ladder substantially in Chongpyeong in Chongqing one in Chongpyeong, and now in Las Vegas and Belvedere, especially in Las Vegas, because it is True Mother's room. And according to Reverend Jackson, it is the last place that probably True Father and True Mother share a bed with. Because after, after Las Vegas, True Father went back to Korea and then subsequently passed, there was no opportunity because True Father was hospitalized and then subsequently, uh, you know, uh, passed, you know. So in this sense, also you have to understand that that room is the very, the holy of holies. You understand? Uh, if you understand uh, absolute sex, that is also, you could say, 
true mother's gift to America and to especially to all the second generation and third generation and the youth that there is this physical connection now to God, you know, directly, you know, in centering on Changshim One. Now the the place is, I don't know, if you are not spiritually uh, attuned, it's no ordinary. It's just a room, not a big room as well. You know, it's a small room. But if you understand and have faith, you know, and then you go there with an open heart and open mind, I'm telling you, you cannot but have amazing experience. Uh, so I'm not a, such a spiritually, uh, I'm not a spiritually open person, but I'm sensitive to some extent. And I can say that it really, with understanding and with uh, pure heart, I feel that you can really connect to uh, uh, realm of heart of God, you know, through this Changshim one. And if you are uh, united, amazing great works is going to unfold, you know, especially if you, uh, it is, you're trying to do something, you know, for public purpose and then uh, you will make breakthroughs that you never thought possible. Uh, result will come in a way that you will never consider possible. Okay. Now I'll shut up and let you all ask questions and make comments. I, uh, yes. I, I don't want to hold the, the meeting, especially coming late. People told me if you come late to the party, that means you don't get a plate. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk. But it, it's so good to see Brianna. How are you being? And I can't, I, I can't see you in the back. <laughs> you travel fast. <laughs> you must have been, gosh, did you? Mr. Fujita is our great crowd of witnesses at the back. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Anyway, yeah. thank you. You too. See you later. <laughs> so please connect to Chongqing Wan. Uh, I made up my mind that at least I will visit Chongqing Wan every morning. Not every morning, once a week. My wife obviously wants to go there every morning. Uh, but she can't drive, which means that uh, I will have to drive. But uh, I'm trying to arrange in such a way that, uh, you know, we can work something out. Yeah. So I encourage you all to uh, take the opportunity to connect uh, with Chongqin Wan. And then you will have Chongqin Wan in your heart now, where really uh, you can bring God down in your life, you know. And when I explain to you about this uh, new providence centering on inheriting this realm of heart of God, you'll be blown away, I'm telling you. I received this insight while I was sharing about the you know, change of blood lineage. Uh, Mary and the change of blood lineage in Jesus. Then I received this amazing understanding, uh, insight that I hope that will help us even more uh, because if you have the right understanding, you know, wow. You can connect to God's realm of heart just like that, you know, with the right understanding. Just like we say, it is the word of God that connects us back to God. But if you have an understanding, it's the correct understanding from God, you know, wow. Amazing. So I, I, I feel that, uh, I just want to share with you th this understanding I received by uh, that, wh whether it does anything to you, I don't know. But for me, uh, this is not just for me, this is for everybody, you know? And uh, when, when I received this insight, I was even wondering whether it's the correct understanding or not, you know? Who's so, that? Who's that? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> wow. So he's there. Yes. Hi, Mr. Fujita. 
<laughs> Great clouds of innocence at the back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any 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 other comments or any comments or, or questions that you may have? <laughs> Dr. Oh. Young was sharing this morning, there's two kinds of people according to father. One is a little bit intellectual type. Everything is to reason. And then the other type is the more spiritual type. Everything is through feeling, prayer, you know. Now we are living in an era where we have to be both. Okay. So I'm usually not a, a person of prayer so much, you know, a little bit more intellectual. Even intellect is questionable, you know. But somehow uh, I've been given uh, insights that really it, it's not from my intellect it's not from my reasoning it's it's from the spiritual side from god directly so i say oh my goodness you know and how do i how do i know that this is from god and not from satan or not from my own personal uh, self-centered self that has been my journey for the last uh, i don't know how many years now okay so uh Yes. Yes, sorry. It took me a while. But I felt I want to share my experience at Chongqing One. Um, so, Sunday after the, um, the service, uh, the Sunday service, yeah, we went to Chongqing One and um, that was my first time at Chongqing Room. So, I, I <coughs> We walk, we follow the path and we walk into um, to saw the prayer room. And before I enter the prayer room, my tears started to come down. Oh. I don't know why. <laughs> and it was really, um, I, I couldn't explain why. And somehow I was led into the room and I felt I was crying harder. Um, and I felt that Somehow I couldn't pray so much anywhere else. But when I entered that room, just kind of naturally, a lot of feelings started to come out. And I felt that um, I was able to, you know, talk to, like, have a, like a connection with God, you know, tell him about what happened. And then, um, then I felt like I came home, you know, that's, that two parents are there and they're like parents to, to, well, to me, and then, then a lot of things I've been um, like uh, struggling about kind of disappear. Kind of, you see that oh, um, like two parents and us are like family, and a lot of strugglings that a lot about um, you know, um, like relationship issues all disappear. And you just feel like they are part of, they're just my brother, sister, you know? And also, um, so I felt like parent-child relationship is like the strongest bond in the universe. If, as long as we stay in that bond, like everything else kind of doesn't matter. It cannot enter and also, um, um, I just felt very, <laughs> Yeah, and I was I, I was able to pour out my heart, you know. I I don't know how to explain it, but it just kind of God has his ideal, but somehow we try so hard to reach it and we try so many ways, but um but once it's there, like nothing else can break, you know. So, so. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Each of one is unique. When you go to Chongqing One, we all have unique experiences as well. 
So don't try to have the experiences that uh, Yuping just shared. That's unique for her, you know. So for us, each one of us, God will reveal to us in our unique way. If you have faith, if you believe, this is an amazing era we're living in. Amazing blessing from our true mother. If you really believe in this, amazing great works will unfold before your very eyes. So I know that Mr. Fujita has a high goal. Uh, he wants to bring 40 new members, yeah? So this is an uh, amazing, uh, amazing goal, right? Even for me or, or any one of us, even to bring uh, one spiritual child is, is not easy, you know? But uh, this goal is 40. So if all of you unite uh, together and put in the your wonderful heart and work, same thing on Chongqing Wan, you will see with your very eyes, great works will unfold. Okay. This is, uh, I strongly believe that that's happening now. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I, I, I hope I can share a little bit more uh, about this uh, amazing uh, unity that uh, in the next session, uh, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Will we meet again next week? Next Thursday, same time, 10.30. Okay, thank you. Yep.